education system. Um, our school name is SMK Subang Utama and is in an, and is established in 1989. The, the current year, 2016, we have 865 students and 60 teachers. Our school contains six blocks, which contain several facilities such as hall, the field, the basketball court, science labs, computer labs, and a cafeteria. This is our school logo. Right here, we wear it on our Yeah. <laughs> um, the rings represent the symbol of co-curricular co excellence, and the green color represents Islam as the official religion of the nation. The computer represents the symbol of IT savvy, and the yellow represents symbol of academic excellence. This line here, which says Berjaya and Berjaya Dabur Sepadu, which translates to success and integrity in English, means symbol of purity and cleanliness. The rep represents symbol of success and courage. And the blue represents a symbol of peace and stability. The gear there represents technical and vocational skills, and the yellow represents royal color, which represents the royal supremacy in all fields. Um, our education system consists of many um, forms. The first is preschool, which are, which are for children ages three to four. We start from uh, preschool playgroup and then move on to kindergarten. For primary, there is year 1 to 6, which are for students aging from 7 to 12. For the secondary school, which is in the form we are now, is for form 1 and to form 5, which are for students reaching 13 to 17. After that, we move on to matriculation, college and university. There are three main examinations that we students have to go through. The first one is when we're in standard six, which is when we're 12 years old, and that is the UPSR, which is the primary school achievement. When we are the, when we're form three, which is when we're 15 years old, we take the PT3, which is the form three evaluation test. And when we're form five, we take the SPM, the Malaysian Certificate of Education. Alright, uh, I want to talk about the colors of Malaysia. Alright, uh, so Malaysia is known for the multiracial people. The majority of people in Malaysia consists of Malay, Malay, Chinese, Indian, and Kadazan. But Kadazan is basically more from the east side of Malaysia than uh, from Sabah and Sarawak. Uh, Iban, Majau, Right. Each uh, race and ethnic have their own traditional dances. The most common one is for the Malays, Indians and Chinese. For the Malays, we have four types of dances, which is uh, Asli dance on the top one, and then there's the Inang dance, and then there's the Joget and the Zape dance. And for the Chinese, we have the Chinese classical dance, Chinese ethnic dance, the fan dance, which is this one, and the lion dance, which is up there. And for the Indians, we have lots of types of dances, like the Baranat Baranatyam, Kuchipudi, Odissi, Kratakali, Kratak, Mohini, Atam, and Manipuri. And as you can see, they're all different and diverse. Malaysia has people from many races, which means there are a lot of festivals. Like Chinese New Year, Hungry Ghost Festival, and Dragon Boat Festival. This is for Chinese races. Uh, Hari Raya Adil Fitri, Hari Raya Adil Adha is for Malaysian race, races. Taipusam Dipavali is for Indians. Hari Gawai is for Sabah and Sarawak. Uh, 
Hello, konnichiwa everyone. I'm Tinesh and I'm going to talk about Malaysian foods. Uh, so, sate, nasi lemak, nasi kerabu, ketubat. Those are um, foods Malays are known for. And, um, kuisu, yeah, even more Malay, because these are desserts. They are uh, very oishi. They are. Yeah. <laughs> Next slide, please. Chinese dishes now. They look very familiar, don't they? Chinese dishes and um, Japanese dishes consist of noodles. You got noodles, you got noodles, and you got that stuff. Uh, <laughs> continue. Next slide, please. And now, uh, oh yeah, more, more Chinese dishes. Um, they, that's like Chinese. Mochi? Mochi. No, it, it's similar to mochi. It's similar to mochi. That, that one right there. <laughs> next, next, next one. Indian food. The best. <laughs> when you go to Malaysia, you gotta try this stuff, right? Soup bread, really. Uh, on to the next one. Rice. Indians love rice. Can't get enough of that. Uh, I've not seen that before. Uh, next, next one. Next slide, please. Landmarks. Oh, landmarks. Not my uh, slide. Uh, here. Whoever is supposed to take this. So there are many interesting places in Malaysia, such as like you can see now, Betunas Twin Towers and KL Towers, which is in the Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so Masjid Negara and Blue Mosque, like you see now, is in Klamo region. Okay, like you can see now, Kota Kinabalu and Nakawi is in a uh, different region, which is Kota Kinabalu is in Sabah, which is in uh, East Malaysia. So then, Nakawi Cable Car is in uh, West Malaysia. Oh, uh, no. Sabah Sarawak uh, is known as Borneo too, actually. In which is Kota Kinabalu. Oh, yeah, so, <laughs> so we prepared the slides. Um, oh, that's Thank you. Thank you.